wow the view from up here mind-blowing just carrying goats <laughs> up the mountain just like i'm bringing home dinner that is she like fall off a cliff or something What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the beautiful city of Leisure and to be more specific right now we are at the church of Saint Nicholas where the national hero Skanderbeg is buried. Um, he was buried here in 1468 and right now you can still see all of the ruins around here of the actual church and obviously there is a lot more of modern structure put around it to keep the church itself in place. Now the area that actually encapsulates Skanderbeg's tomb here in Leja was actual ancient city. It was an actual ancient city called Lissos and I believe it dates back to the 14th, 15th century and you get a very special vibe just walking around here. Check out the details on the door of the tomb itself. Just here as well is an absolutely insane mosaic of the Albanian flag. Um, it really blows you away when you're standing next to it, just the pure size of this mosaic and how beautiful it is. This whole area in general, the history, the significance of it, and just the way it looks, just has completely blown me and Naomi away. And it's the very first stop for us here in Leisure. We're going to be exploring around the city today. We made a road trip, hopped on the bus um, from Skodra. Takes around 40 minutes to get here. And it's already well worth the trip. Like if we just saw this, it would be enough. But we're going to keep exploring. We just want to send out a big, big shout out and a thank you to Al Busha scotty bones and greg zambrovitz for commenting on our last video as you know going forward anybody that comments can be shouted out in our recent videos so drop a comment down below you might be the next one to receive a shout out in one of our videos by the way if you want to check out greg as well he is a youtuber that just started out and he's making videos about albania i think he has been to Tirana, Skodra, Girocaster and Pogradets. Oh, and Elbasan. So if you want to head over to his channel, show him some love. He's just starting out, so um, definitely go over and check out his channel. Now the city of Leja has popped up in our comment section a lot. And that's actually what kind of provoked us to come and check Leja out. We read the word Leja in our comment section probably a hundred times. So we said today when we woke up, we were like, okay, we got to film a video. What are we going to do? And we just said, let's go to Leisure. There is a daily bus network that runs from Skodra to Leisure. It just costs 200 lek per person to get out here. And uh, very cheap, only around two euro or two US dollars. So well worth your money guys and well worth the day trip there seems to be quite a lot of investment money uh, into different developmental projects that are going on here in Leja, and it is a beautiful, beautiful city. Check this out. These buildings, nice high-rise hotel. There's plenty of hotels around here. There's Naomi. Uh, she's more interested in the street dogs. <laughs> um, but this area in general, 
it's very beautiful there's a great atmosphere going on everybody is out doing their thing people are in cafes enjoying their day the sun is starting to come out it doesn't get better than this guys this is why we love albania is because no matter where you go there's a whole different energy a whole different vibe and it's still astonishingly beautiful as well me and naomi are both super excited because it's spring and it's actually just this week technically the beginning of spring the end of winter we couldn't be more excited for the summertime and to spend at least another month in the springtime exploring around albania just seeing the cherry blossom trees and stuff popping up around here on the streets of Leja just brings us an immense amount of happiness um, and we're walking now just basically exploring and seeing what the general structure of this city is like so far we both like it our second stop today is going to be the castle of Leja or Kala as you would say in uh, Albanian Kala is castle but as always there's a lot of work involved with getting to a castle as you can see here Luke is currently climbing up the stairs <laughs> but there's loads of other things to do here around Leja so you definitely have the ancient city down there with the church of Saint Nicholas and the tomb of Skanderbeg you have Leja castle and as far as I know, this city is also located directly at the Adriatic Sea. So if you want to, you can even do like a nice day at the ocean here in Leisure. Just over here in the distance as well, there's a church that looks very similar actually to the church that's in Korcha. If you watched our previous videos in Albania, we spent around six weeks in the city of Korcha in September last year and this church over here looks very similar to the church that's in Korcha I believe it might be an orthodox um, church very beautiful and every time we see it it's just like oh it's like a reminder of the time that we spent in Korcha we love Korcha and we already like Leja as well as Naomi was just saying we're on our way up now to Leja castle and I cannot wait we cannot wait for the view when we get to the top and it almost feels like we're back in Giro Castor the way that the roads are structured they're kind of windy snaky roads that go nowhere but up both of us are struggling we have not been challenged in this way with our fitness in a while let's see if we make it to the castle guys it's another one of these survival videos I think where two very un unfit Europeans walk up to a castle we're gonna start behaving like bear grills now in a minute yeah i'm gonna drink my own pee there <laughs> <laughs> and just a minute or two later and we are sitting at the side of the road completely blank out of energy and we're gonna basically fly the drone and try and recuperate ourselves because yeah we're not at the level of fitness that we were during the summer the views here on the way up to leisure castle are breathtaking we cannot wait to get to the top itself check these drone shots out the drone just now made us realize how much more we actually have to walk and uh, that's actually what we use the drone for a lot just to kind of see the entire territory and see how much more street we have to make to get to our destination and um, but we do feel a lot more rested now after taking those drone shots so we are ready to conquer the rest of the street I don't know about being ready <laughs> I don't know I'm still dead <laughs> One thing we are starting to notice more and more is that all of the streets that lead towards the castle are kind of lined by these old pomegranate trees. And we heard before in Girocastar actually, uh, in the Skenduli house, that pomegranates are supposed to be a symbol for fertility for the future. So 
I do think that all of these pomegranate trees were put here on purpose. Just a quick funny story when we flew the drone there just a minute ago um, there was a couple, an Albanian couple um, farming um, in their garden kind of digging around and uh, we flew the drone just out from right beside their property and they started asking us they started asking us oh are you filming for tv are you filming for the um the news basically and we were like no 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 it's for youtube and these were easily in their late 60s 70s and the woman looked at the husband and was like youtube like she knew she knew exactly what youtube was and the elderly man was very confused still can't really judge just how far away we are from this castle we can see it check it out Naomi's saying it looks similar to Rosafa castle in Skodra which we also did a video about check that video out if you haven't already this one looks to me anyways bigger um, longer. looks longer uh, so I have no idea who owned or who reigned over this castle let us know in the comments if you do know. Great success. We made it. Great success. Great success. We made it to Leja Castle. Up to the top. Cue the epic cinematic music. God, can you freaking believe this? Check this view out. Off here in the distance, you have Shenzhen. I believe I'm saying that right. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Shenyin is off here in the distance. Beautiful beaches, beautiful coastline. Here is Leja. Beautiful mountainscape here. And there's actually the power supply, what seems like the power supply for the entire city of Leja. Wow, the view from up here, mind-blowing. Oh. Now, if you wanted to go into the castle, there's the entrance. Um, but I kind of want to go this way. I'm pretty sure that if you actually want to enter the castle, it will be probably something like 400 lek per person. And um, this time around, we're not going to do that. Um, but you do, you are able to kind of walk around the castle here and see it. And obviously we have the drone as well, so we don't necessarily have to go into the castle. Um, but the entire area here is absolutely stunning. There in the distance, you can see the higher mountains. They're actually so high that you, that the tip of them, like the peak, is in the clouds itself. And then all around here, you can see that it's farm like obviously you have the city of leisure and then the rest around kind of is farmland even when you walk up here the mountain you see a lot of people like local residents that are elderly but they are all farming in their own garden i think they're getting the fields ready um, for the summertime in order to grow probably the next grapes or something like that um, here in the area not too far from Leja itself is the area of Kalmet as well and I think they have a really good red wine. Where the hell is Naomi? Not too long ago uh, we actually had a bottle of Kalmet with one of our American friends, two of our American friends and it was really really tasty um, but I do think that that is the case for all over Albania so everywhere in Albania the people they kind of make their own red wine and they all make their own raki um, and it's all kind of a family recipe so each and every wine 
or a raki that you will taste tastes a little bit different but it's really interesting and now check this out wow this is an absolutely stunning view here she's been gone for like 20 minutes directly off oh you can actually walk further down there i left luke on the bench like half a kilometer that way naomi she like fall off a cliff or something um, <laughs> i hope he will still be there when i come back but i do think so naomi um but let's just see the view from here and maybe i can even show you where we actually started so that you kind of get a view for how far up we walked um, just to see if you can actually see Skanderbeg's tomb from up here should be here just over the mountain where is this going? am I going into the castle without paying entrance? <laughs> no Okay, so we walked up this, so this way, this entire street, down there, all the way to where you can see the river. Um, now, with the 0.5 lens that I'm using right now, it probably doesn't look like it is so crazy far away, but um, if you are walking it up, it is actually quite some street. Uh, looks like this here is the little back entrance of the castle. Obviously it's locked, but we can see inside. Hello castle. <laughs> Get back down without breaking my legs. That's something I'm a pro at. I always keep hurting myself because I'm overestimating my physical abilities, but I'm still doing it. My God, how beautiful is this? And all the way over there, you can already see the Adriatic. I'm sure they will have amazing beaches here, the same way as they do have crazy nice beaches in Velipoja. Um, I'm sure the same is here in Shengjin. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Luke pronounced it wrong and I'm sure I, I'm pronouncing it wrong as well because when we're saying it, it kind of sounds like a Chinese place Shengyin, Shengjin, something like that <laughs> but I'm sure if you want to go to the ocean go out there for a day trip it will be absolutely amazing and now we're gonna hike back down with the most famous German hiking song Von den Blauen Bergen kommen wir Unsere Lehrer sind genauso blöd wie wir <laughs> Now guys, this is exactly the reason why we um, are traveling around Albania when it's not tourist season. Check this out. There's one car. One couple is in there. We saw them pass us when we were sitting outside the castle. So we just had that entire castle to ourselves. We just walked around the circumference. Naomi kind of got lost, wandering around, just talking to herself. And um, yeah, it was great. Now we're going to head back. As Naomi said, we're going to head back down to the city of Leja, have another look around. The last bus is supposedly at four o'clock. Now, as you can tell, if you watched our last video, they said the last bus was at three o'clock in, Veli in Velipoja. I think this last bus at four o'clock in Leja will be a little bit more reliable because I think there's a lot more people in Leja at the moment. It's a little bit more of a busy city. So hopefully, hopefully the bus comes at four o'clock. Now we were complaining on our way up how far it is and how steep it is, as you know, because you were with us. And I was actually uh, talking to Luke about, can you imagine what it would be like to live somewhere up here? And after school, you have to walk it up. And no joke, a family just walked past us with two, or like a, a mother walked past us with two younger children and they both looked like they just came from school and they are walking all the way up this mountain. Um, 
I can imagine that that must be really tough, but you're also probably raising insanely tough children. Then when they, when they grow up, they will be the fittest, toughest people in all of the world. I just imagine Albanian kids around here just carrying goats up the mountain, just like, I'm bringing home dinner. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Just like that, we're back in the center of Leja and we're just walking through the city right now on the hunt for some caffeine. I cannot wait to go sit down, have a nice cup of coffee and just kind of reminisce on the experience that we just had here in Leja. Almost every corner that we turn here in Leja is blowing us away. We just found this beautiful local cafe. We sat outside because the weather is amazing. It's after taking a turn upwards because when we started the day, it was pretty gray and overcast outside, but now it's beautiful, the sun is shining, and it makes this city just even more attractive to us. Now we just got um, one double macchiato for Luke and I got half a liter of water, so just like a little bottle of water and we paid 150 lek, which is like one euro, five cents maybe, something like that. So nothing at all. And it was a lot cheaper than in other places as well. So if you look at, for example, Tirana, we might have paid for a double macchiato and the water was like 250 lek in total yep. or something like that. And here it was only 150, so... Around 40% cheaper for the coffee, uh, the coffee and the water that we got. So keep that in mind. This place is just as beautiful as Serana is, but you get much cheaper prices and much less of people like us, tourists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. Uh, I think we are the only tourists here, especially now in this season. Um, we didn't see any other people around that kind of speak English or look Central European or something like that. So that's really cool. That is. We are back in Skodra now, so that is it from us today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us for the future and keep going with what we're doing at the moment. My name is Naomi. My name is Luke. We are Nalu Adventures, and we see you all in the next video. Yep. Bye.